Hey, this is Tony of Blender Threats Gaming, back playing some more Neon Noodle. Let's pick up where we left off. This is Chicken Mole? Mole? Chicken Mole? Chicken Mole? I don't have any idea how you're supposed to say that. What are we going to do here? We're going to make some vegetables. So some cut vegetables. We're going to make some tomato soup. We're going to put that together with some chocolate. Vegetables, broth, chocolate, and tomato sauce. That's interesting. That's going to... Okay, this is going to be a longer one. All right, so let's start out with the vegetables. We got vegetables here. Just put that in the top corner. We want to cut them, and then uh, let's see. So we want the cutting here. Actually, I should move those. I'm gonna move that a little bit more central. Okay, and then we got the tomatoes, and that needs to become blended. take the, both of these things and take the does that go in a bowl next? let's see, is there, is there one of those things? no I think that's just what it is, okay that produces the tomato sauce, tomato sauce we can go here we could like have the ingredients to where we go up like this and if I put the piece right here for the building that there if I do that I can no that's that's not gonna be the best let's see this is definitely one of those ones where thinking out the pieces is interesting okay, I do want that that's gonna go Ingredients, and then we want chocolate. And then that's gonna produce the bowl. Then I want chicken. And that needs to go, so the chicken and the bowl together need to go into the frying pan. And then that goes, that produces the, the thing, right? Chicken mole. That goes into there. I have two of them. That's interesting. I wonder why I have two of them. And what kind of bot do I have? Is that a rail bot? No, that's a normal bot, right? I think it is. Okay, so that chop. If I gotta spin all the way around, that's kind of, that could be a waste. There's a way I can do it without doing that. If I put this up here, I can grab it, so... That chop. That. Two. So what I, I don't want to do is I don't have to turn all the way around and all the way back. That's really inefficient. But if I put here, this will work better. Maybe. This is not a railbot, I'm pretty sure. That chop. Down, grab. Let me double check if this is a robot. No, it is not a robot. Okay, uh, let's see, can I... Let's grab. No, 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 no. Undo. Nope, not that. Okay, I just want to undo these. I guess I just got to do it like this. That there. I want to, like, box them in, but that's obviously, like, a horrible idea. Down. Tomato in there.
go around, then I can start like grab this, put it in there. But it seems like a bad idea. So let's um, let's try to do this on the other side. Put it up here. That means I can actually swap these two. That would be smarter with the way it is now. And that's there. that and put it in this. I'm gonna have to kind of help it gets those two together and it gets these so this one's the only kind of weird one but that's fine because I chop that there so I do want to swap these two yeah no I want to have that chop there okay so I'm gonna grab chop turn grab turn So I should switch these two. Grab, chop. Turn, grab, down there, blend. Pick up, move down, in, 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 up, left, up, grab. Gonna be a weight three. Grab that, put it in here with this. And then once that's done, I'm gonna put it in there and then I'm gonna reset back to the beginning. That should do all of it. Grab there, chop, chop. And then, tomato, blender. And I'm gonna wait, which one's wait Q? Then soup, down, in, down, in, down, or right, in, up, left, up, in, and then I got a weight three. That's a really bad weight three, but I don't know how to get past that because I really can't do anything when I'm doing that. Go here, grab that, that. Oh, oh, what, what happened there? That was weird. That in there. Then I need to wait one. And then I'm going to take that and deliver it. And then I'm going to... Where's the return to beginning? Return to start. I think that, I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Why did I not get that? Do I need to get one more chop in there? So is that chop, chop, chop? It's chop, chop, chop. There we go. Third chop. And where that's here. That should pick it up there. Now let's restart. There we go. And some of these you can get to where, like, just trying to optimize them, you could sit here and just 
take one little piece out at a time. So cycles. It seems like that's like I make small programs with small bot areas, but my cycles are always higher. Interested, like, um, hmm. At the lowest program size, too. So I've got the least amount of commands, but somehow I've got more cycles because of that. Is it because the. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, let's do the next one. The drone bots will perform generic instructions, asterisk, when grounded and waiting. For example, to pick up something, wait once to descend, then one more time to perform the pickup. Okay, so I got a drone bot this time, and I'm making some, uh, potatoes. I want to take that. That's chips and that's fries. I'm gonna put that in there, and that's gonna make french fries. And I wanna take milk, and what is that? Fermenting station. Okay, milk. Fermenting station. Three weights. What does that make? Cheese curd! That sounds horrible. I do not like that sort of stuff. Fine if you like it. That's your thing. Me personally, just not sound tasty. Okay, I am going to move you because you're not actually, you're, you're just the bot. I need that. And the fries. face that way. And then let's put the bowl right next to it because that's that's going to have to go in there down here. ingredients in the bowl. That, chop, fry. Move it down, drop it in there. Have that, drop it in there. So if I actually have that. that uh, put in there and then turn right and put that in and that makes that and then I need to drop it off there we go that is not a good place to drop that off at um okay 
Like the best place is where this thing's at, but I do need to get that in there too. Without like adding a bunch of steps to it. Rise in there. Drop down that into there. That takes three. So I can do one, two, pick up, three, up, and then down, and then up. Mm. Like completing most of these really isn't that hard. It's not a matter of completing. It's a it's a matter of what the It's a matter of um, doing it efficiently and well. Oh, this is interesting. So it flies up. Oh, so I need to put these... This is completely different logic. I need to redo how this is set up because this is like... I don't have to worry about MySpace. I have to worry about... Um, not MySpace. Um, worry about... The positions of these things. All right, like, I, like I, can, I can work a linear. Uh, why am I not... There we go, move. And I want to drop that in here. Drop one, two, three, four, and then bring it down to there. Yeah, that should do it. I chop it twice for fries. Do that. Drop that off there. Grab some milk. Put it in there. Grab that. You drop that off there. Add a thing up. Drop that off there, and then do I have a wait time? Nope. And then return to beginning, which means if I circled this, that would be more efficient. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm trying not to be too. Uh, pedantic about all these pieces, but it, this one's going to be a pretty easy fix. Nope, nope, not recording. That I cannot drop it there. I'm going to have to do it this way. I do not want to return to beginning because that return uh, I'm gonna kind of have to because of the way the program I need like the I need initial initializer I don't have to worry about again all right let's try this again yeah I need to delete the code that's already there okay move that's chop chop drop drop milk bird that's wait am I, am I doing that right nope nope 
Missed something in here. Uh, what did I miss? So chop chop, and then I need to go over. Fry. Wait one. No, no, no. Why is it? Why is it doing it again? I just said wait. Wait. Shows action there again instead of wait. Because I'm hitting Q, but it, that is. Yeah, like that just does that now. And then I need to do one more. Not wait. Uh, interact. That dude jumped off there. Almost be better if this was like right here. I got that dropped there. Wait, did I did that twice? No, I just picked it up. Okay. better if it were right there too um let's see let's go ahead and drop it and then i'm gonna have to do the return to start check and make sure this works pretty sure it will oh no it won't The number of times you have to interact is more than what I thought. There's like sit down and then chop, chop. So that drops off there. That drops off right there. Are there any other interactions? I don't think so. Just added a command in there. Don't. Here, now let's try it. Oh, it didn't didn't get the final pickup. Okay. Chop, chop. Do one more chop. There we go. I need to do one more interaction on that one. And that's... Okay, that is doing it. I'm curious to see how that uh, fits in. I could. I could do a little bit better by finishing just to the right one. Small program size, again, cycles. It's like every time I got the same thing. So one thing I could do, I'm, I'm just curious. Put that here. And then on the commands. Take the end of it off. There's the pickup. And then I go here. And then it would be returned to the beginning. Does that change any of it?
I don't remember. I don't remember where my cycles were. These two are still about the same program size and uh, uh, area. All right, I'm going to leave that one here. That's two more of the stages from Neon Noodles. Again, wanted to thank the developer for the key to this. It's a very fun game and one of those things that I could sit here and get lost inside of for hours on end. I like to suggest going and check it out. I have been enjoying it quite a lot. I'm like not speaking words right now. <laughs> it's all those noodles. All right, I'll see you again next time. Bye.